Now it's really worth checking out the Cairns Marine website. I'm just on it at the moment. Just go to www.cairnsmarine.com. Now one of the little articles that they've got on their website is um, a little bit of information about supply chain or chain of custody. And it really helps to justify why some fish are more expensive than other fish. Now if, if you buy a fish from Cairns Marine, it's a completely traceable fish. They know exactly what divers caught exactly which fish and the fish are caught in state-of-the-art um, best practice procedures for catching the fish which offer the minimum amount of stress on the fish then from there the fish are transported on state-of-the-art collection boats they've got a coral boat and a live fish boat which are equipped with state-of-the-art um, holding facilities on the boat the fish then get um, winched up onto the truck and taken to this to a state-of-the-art facility from that facility they are packaged in the best practice packaging techniques and get flown straight to majestic aquariums where they are sold so therefore it goes from collection to the holding facility then they're flown straight to Majestic Aquariums because we buy directly from Cairns Marine. So it's basically a ultimate chain of care. Now the alternative to buying from Cairns Marine is buying from a importer. Now the importer have a whole lot of different people that collect the boat, the, the um, fish and a lot of them use dodgy collection techniques they use cyanide they use uh, dynamite and anything they can do to get these fish as cheaply as possible and because there's so many people and you never know who's caught them there's absolutely no accountability to the way the fish are caught then they're basically thrown on a canoe or something like that far from state of the art and put into what is effectively a shack with little to no husbandry techniques whatsoever. From there, it'll go to some sort of um, wholesaler. Then from there, it'll go to an exporter. Then from there, it'll go to a shipper. Then from there, it might end up at the retailer. So it changes hands many times. So there's much more room for neglect. So this is basically showing you that there's many people collecting them and there's no accountability for the collection techniques. Um, some of the fish are collected even today using questionable techniques such as cyanide. If they spray in, knock the fish out and the fish are doomed. Um, they are kept in um, overpopulated um, bags they're often held in the bags in the collection station for long periods of time. Whereas Cairns Marine have state-of-the-art boats, um, highly educated, skilled divers. Um, the fish stay aerated all the time. They've got highly trained staff that look after their facility. They're able to move anything from the smallest fish to large sharks. And once again, the chain of custody is just so short, so well controlled, and so um, um, accountable. Anyway, it's worth checking out the Cairns Marine website. Um, they've also got a pretty cool YouTube channel um, on their YouTube channel you'll see lots of um, videos of how they catch their fish and um, a lot about their operation and here at Majestic Aquariums um, we have a Cairns Marine section so Cairns Marine can only sell us local fish obviously the Great Barrier Reef is a very large and diverse environment in which we can get a huge range of fish and coral from but um, imported species we do have to import so what we do here at Majestic Aquariums is we separate them so we can show you the Cairns Marine rack and that way you know you're buying a Cairns Marine fish 
whereas um, if you are buying a overseas fish we can tell you a little bit about the chain of care but it won't be at all up to the level of accountability that Cairns Marine have. Anyway, check it out. Just something to think about and something to check out.